everyone's lived experience can be seen in what they create. At Charger Help, we fix electric vehicle charging stations. And we do it two really cool ways, through people and technology. Our mission is to ensure the reliability of our EV charging infrastructure nationwide. I'm Camille Christina Terry. My name is Yvette Ellis. I'm the co-founder and CEO. I am co-founder and chief people officer of Charger Help. I first met Camille through an event called Startup Weekend. Long story short, Camille won the entire pitch competition. And that was actually, come to find out, the weekend that she first came up with the idea for Charger Help. I used to work for a company that made software for charging stations, got really interested into this space, and there was also a lot of issues within the industry. She was put on this earth to solve this very specific problem. And she was like very uniquely qualified through the work that she was already doing. We talk about your lived experiences, your competitive advantage here at Slauson, and I think they embody that to the fullest. For us to be able to get behind a founder like her that grew up right along the same thoroughfare that we did, who's solving this very real problem at an extremely crucial time. Well, I'm from South Central Los Angeles, and so, you know, I lean into all the folks from my community that has had to do hard things. I actually have a whole playlist um, that I listen to, like your Nipsey Hustles, definitely have like Kendrick, and that's really what gets me into like the mentality of, yeah, we done 10 next. Yeah, it's Charger Help. It's like who my co-founder and I are as founders. It's that same story. And I always remember being embarrassed about where I grew up. I think y'all started in the fun. There's an investment, like there's stuff happening and it just makes me so proud. Everything that I know about business and like how people move and knowing the people who, you know, do things that's under the table, like how, I learned that here. It's become more and more evident that where people need the most climate support are in black and brown neighborhoods, but they don't have those resources. It's a catch-22 because one of the biggest challenges is being focused on as a black woman versus a brilliant entrepreneur. <laughs> and we have a great product <laughs> and a brilliant solution to a huge problem that our world is encountering. Second to that, we are very proud Black women, uh, but I think our solution is going to help everybody, no matter what color or gender you are. This is like one of the best cultures that I've, I've experienced. I think primarily just because it's a vision that you could get behind when you have founders and leaders who really believe in the mission that they could create an impact. It's super easy to rally behind. I really love that I'm working with an organization who really cares about every last employee. We've got a great product. We've got the solution that is gonna be super helpful. From the moment I started, it really felt like they cared about me and my family. They made that commitment to us and, and I take that as they bet on me. And so when anybody bets on me, I want to deliver as best as I can. After she pitched our company, we passed on the company. She came back about a year later and pitched us again. We passed on the company again. We weren't the right company at that time, right? Like I, 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 would, I would respect that he didn't do it and I'm glad that he does not now because I trust his judgment. He was like, you weren't the same company then. I'm like, right? And then when we really started looking at the momentum that she's building, we knew that we couldn't have somebody build a massively successful company on the next generation of, of where technology and where things are focused and us not be a part of it. We desire to be really that household name for operation and maintenance for EV charging stations. We want to be the trusted source for EVSE, period.